What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to today's episode in my path to power. Before we get started, if you guys are looking for FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, check out FUT Coin Emporium. They're cheap, quick, and reliable. Their link is in the description down below. But as you can see, we still have that sweet, sweet, sweet uh, Brazilian side that we were using in the episode before, that 4 triple 2 and I switched around my Siri uh, side to the 4 triple 2 as well because I wanted to give it a chance there and see exactly if I would flourish, if I would fail, exactly what the outcome might be. So I had to do a lot of switching around, but I had essentially sort of the right players to fit it. So Diamante and uh, Hernandez are my attacking mids. I used Borja Valero as a center defensive mid which I'm not quite sure how well that sort of experiment works out. He does have the high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, but luckily Daniela De Rossi has the flipped work rate. So medium attack, high defense. So I think it was actually okay, and they did pretty well. This guy, nice little Bundesliga 3-5-2 side. He's got some steroid cars on his players. I'm knocking out right off of goal kick here, and it's constant moving it up. One of the nice attacking features of the 4 triple two formation is you can set up for a lot of 1-2 passes and nice quick combo pay, play. Hernandez, if you remember, practically started that move. He received the second pass from Constant, and he's now ended up in free on goal 20th minute, and that's a lovely sequence, and Hernandez is very, very good. I am hoping and a praying that he gets a couple informs this year, because he will be ridiculously good. He's a very well-rounded midfielder that could probably be just fine in the CDM spot as well, but I was enjoying using him out wide. He didn't, his pace didn't feel like it was a massive factor. A very reminiscent pass. Balotelli just gonna bully people around because Ballo gets what Ballo wants, and when he wants a goal, he's gonna go ahead and get that goal. On the topic of this celebration that you're seeing on the screen, I have no idea why I was doing it so much. I think I just had un unlocked it, so I was kind of spamming it out. It is by no no means my favorite uh, celebration in this game at all. I get absolutely done here. I called second man press when I shouldn't have. It left wide open passes and he practically walks that one in. Well done to him for breaking down my defense in the 68th minute. Tony Cruz is going to knock it in there. Uh, so 2-1 right now and I'm moving forward. Managed to knock this one away and get our uh, our attack started. El Sharawi I brought on as a substitute attacker for Iguain. He just wasn't feeling very strong for me. Going to take a shot here. Unlucky not to go in, but Daniela De Rossi's made his way up the pitch to knock in the very, very easy uh, and untime well, timely rebound for me. Untimely rebound for him as uh, he was pressing me pretty hard towards the end of this match and Definitely, if I hadn't managed to score this, I'd have been a little bit nervous about him nipping that late equalizer. But now we're 90th minute, and he's on the attack forward. I'm going to manage to shield him away, block him out, and we're on the attack one more time. Uh, Hernandez is going to start dribbling it up the pitch. And I'm going to just hit a huge over-the-top through ball to Mario Balotelli. Well-timed and a chip over the keeper. If they bring their keeper out, be looking to use the chip. Left bumper B or... L1 and circle on the PS3. As many of you guys know, I'm not really a PS3 guy, so every time I think about the controls, I have to picture the controller in my head uh, to get it out. So it's a very good move. As soon as they bring their keeper, say, outside the six-yard box and rush you. A lot of people try what doing what I call pump faking the keeper, where they bring him out a little bit, and you're like, oh, I'm going to chip him, and then they you know, double-tap Y, and the keeper goes right back into his goal and just grabs it, and you sit there going, son of a... I, uh, I could have just finessed it by him. Why didn't I do that? But you can see some of our players have sold on Benashia. We made 300 coins on him. Mario Gomez, we made about a thousand coins on him. A lot of these guys, I bought them with chemistry styles for what would be more like their normal price. And now that the chemistry styles have gone back up in price, they're selling on for a good bit more. I'm going to list Diamante open bid 5,500. He was absolutely lost for me as a right attacking mid. And that's the only spot that I'd be looking to play him in this formation or even in the alternative formation of the 4 triple 2 that I'll talk about in a future episode. I haven't played it yet, but I plan on using it because I still want to use El Sharawi. That formation, of course, will be the 4-4-2, but the second one with the two CDMs, it's kind of comparable to the left mid, right mid, and the Ram and Lamb. It's sort of like that. This guy, 5-2-1-2. I haven't come up against many 5-2-1-2 teams, but I was 
bringing the pressure on this game. He kept trying to spam those over the top through balls and they just really weren't working out for him. He used, I think he was using Obama Yang and that's a much better over the top through ball. Leandro Damiao, I am not so strong at pronouncing his name, but I will work on it, I promise. A little bit of free space for Alexander Bato. A Thunderbolt crushes it into the side netting. 27th minute to get that scoring started. But I'd been kind of all over him, and I think he thought there was just no way to come back from it. And I asked you guys yesterday, I said, what's the Rage Quit music going to be? And I got a bunch of suggestions, but this is what we went with, at least for the time being. Because he pauses the game off of kickoff, and he gone, he's gone. You can see the four shots, three on target, 64% possession, 36% uh, no shots for him. So I was in really, really good shape there. Opponent, the connection has been lost with your opponent. We are moving on from there. So as we progress, that's a good 6-0-1 now, Division 6. Big smiles, happy days. One way I think a win, or one win away I think from getting the title. And this Brazilian squad is just working out so well for me. Uh, gonna bring in Jadson, stick with them. Not going back to the Serie A squad right now. I will though, do not worry, I'm not done. But now that I have two strikers, I can bring in players like Di Natale, you know, Kaká, other, you know, big names from the Serie A that should be quite fun to incorporate into the side. So Damio gonna win yet another header seventh minute he is so so good in the air and with the big guy having those four star skills just a phenomenal phenomenal uh, and very cheap player to add to the bench to you know use on like a cheap brazilian squad side using non-rare brazilians this year probably quite a fun because both of my cdms or my whole defense is non-rare one of my cdms is non-rare one of my attacking mids is non-rare one of the strikers is non-rare as well but he's had enough he gone off of that one, so instant rage quits uh, back in here, back to back, which is, you know, it's how we're gonna win the title. That's fantastic. I was pumped. I'm not gonna lie. I was super pumped about that because, you know, it's the rage quit is a beautiful thing in FIFA. It's just one of those. It's a, you know, I don't encourage people to ever rage quit. And have I rage quit a game? Uh, I cannot remember the last time I did, but I'm sure I have. Everybody does it from time to time, uh, but I I don't remember a recent having done it. But there's because then you've thoroughly beaten someone, and even you know the the sweetest rage quit is even when you're up one goal or two goals, and then they go ahead and rage quit because that uh, that means that they knew that they just weren't coming back. On the flip side of that, though. If you don't think that you're capable of coming back from one goal down or two goals down, you need to sort out your belief in your own FIFA skill because anything is possible in a game of FIFA, just like a game of Real 40. This guy, though, third minute, what the heck? I could not believe this start. I went from missing a huge chance on the other end, almost straight off a kickoff. He ran right down and scored on me. My blood was a boiling, but we're now 33rd minute, creating some chances. Fernando, nice little run forward. Going to find Alexander Pato, and he's going to knock this one out for a corner kick. And seeing as how I have a few rather large guys in my side, Sequeira, the left back, taking him. He's got wonderful free kick stats. Felipe Melo going to put that one away. Felipe Melo, fantastic. One of my favorite CDMs on the game at this point in time. Generally, I shy away from players with the high, high work rate because they sometimes they feel like headless chickens just running around out there. Um, Sequeira going to knock in yet another corner of a shot by Pato. This time it's Mr. Leandro Damiao nodding this one hold to give me a two goal lead and I've, I've got to stop with this celebration. It looks so ridiculous. Uh, with, but Which will hopefully be happening. Hopefully it hasn't been like engraved on my brain to just instantly go for that celebration. I foul him late here and this is a ridiculous goal. Kareem Benzema knocks that one away. I don't even feel bad about him making me watch all three replays back. I couldn't get my center back over or my defender over in time to cover that. It was perfectly placed right into the middle in that no man's zone. The keeper would never have been able to come out and punch it. And a bicicleta to 
to bring him level 89th minute. I could not believe it. Wanted to uh, tee up the controller again, but that was not going to be the case. So a rough start now. I think we're in Division 5. We've got six titles won. We took one point from that. I'd like to be taking all three. 53 wins, uh, 12 losses, and I think about eight draws. So our record's okay. It's not stellar. We could be doing a little bit better, but I'm going to be making some changes to the Serie A side, going out to get a few new attacking mids. So if you guys have some recommendations, other than the Inform Pandev, who we've now brought back to the club, 13,000 by now with the Catalyst chemistry style on him, which works really nicely for him. The two things he's weak in, pace, passing, that sorts that out instantly. Went out and looked at Kaka, as he's a, such a legend as well. But if there are any other guys you guys would like to see me check out, let me know in the comments section down below, and I will be sure to check those guys out for you, see if I can find an ever so sweet deal on them. Anyways, guys, we're going to come to a close of in this episode of my path to power. If you guys did enjoy it, a like or thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Other than that, I'll be back with the foot show tomorrow. My name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time. <laughs>